Welcome students, we are here in Onshape and we're going to be trying to our first little project making a little goofy tree like this. Just getting the hang of some things here. So let's jump right in. Uh, if you are clicking on this logo on shape here, you're going to say create document and we're going to say test tree, whatever you want to name it. Um, so on shape is a little different than Tinkercad. Um, this is what the pros use sometimes. Uh, if we are right clicking and dragging, you can see this three dimensional view, which is similar to Tinkercad. We also have this friendly little cube here that we might recognize uh, to change our view around. When we first come in, we see all this stuff. This is all the things we're creating over here. This is your list. And then all this stuff, these are three-dimensional controls. Right now, we're not going to work in the three-dimensional controls. We're going to jump into sketch here in a second. First, though, this is the one thing we do need to do first. We need to define some variables. So in the past, um, we have needed to type the thickness of the wood in constantly. Let's give this a name and a value here so that we only have to type it in once. And if we need to change it, it's easy to change. So that is going to be helpful later. Now, let's jump into sketches there. Uh, and whenever you click on something, it's going to ask you to do something here. So it's telling you what to do next. So I said sketch. It's going to say select a plane, a plane being a surface to draw on. What do you want to draw on? I want to draw on the front surface today. So I'm going to click on that. And then I clicked on the front so I can view it flat there. And I'm going to hide these other planes, hide all this stuff so I don't need to see all that. And now look at my controls up here. They look more like normal drawing tools. So um, I'm clicking rectangle here. When you see all those drawing tools, that let's, helps you know that you're in the sketch mode, not the three-dimensional creating view. Um, so let's just start off by drawing a little tree. There's my stump. The spline tool is nice. It helps you draw curves. So I'm doing a little tree thing here, right? You can do whatever you like here. And if you double click on the end, it's going to end your spline. Now this tree, I don't really want this little part in here. So now if I go back and use this nice tool called trim, looks like scissors. You're going to be cutting off the pieces you don't want. Bingo, bango, bingo. And you know, I want to get rid of that too. If you select one and just push delete, that also gets rid of parts you don't want. All right. So the other really, really nice thing about uh, on shape, it lets you dimension things. So if you click this one, dimension, you know, I really want this base to be, I don't want it to be 0.9 inches. I want it to be 0.5 inches. And look at that. It resizes some things for me. So you can control the size of things here. And um, we also have some other little things that pop up when we hover over them, like these little icons there. Those are called constraints. If you come up here, you can show all the constraints. So these are all the rules. Like if I hover over this one, it's telling me relationships between the lines that it highlights there. Like this is saying these two lines are 90 degrees to each other. This one's saying these two lines are parallel to each other. These ones are saying they match up. So these lines match up. If I zoom in there, you know, they're definitely matched up on each other. They're touching there. So um, sometimes you need to get rid of some of those. So if you want to click on one and delete it ever, you can do that. Um, and if you ever want to add some, we have them all listed here under constraints there too. But let's hide those for now. Just a nice little thing that sometimes messes you up. Uh, so let's make this three-dimensional here. So we're going to say extrude now. We're going to take this two-dimensional drawing and stretch it up out of this. You can see what's going on here. This is like stretching that, right? But the thickness of this is going to be the thickness of our wood. So if we come over here, if we just push T, look at that thickness. It's already entered in there because we put that variable in there. It's going to be super nice for us. If we ever need to change it, we can change it really easy. And if I just push enter there, bingo, bango, we got a little tree and it's already the correct thickness of the wood there. Now notice I'm no longer in sketch mode anymore. I'm back to three-dimensional view because I created something that's three-dimensional. So if you need to go back to that sketch and change something, you're welcome to. You can come back here. No, I wanted that piece to be there, and I wanted this one to be over there. All right. And when you push check mark, 
check it out, it changed it. So this is like going back in time and changing things over here. Next up, I wanna make that base for my little tree there, that little piece there. So I wanna draw on this bottom surface. So let's spin that down there and I'm gonna look at that. I'm wheeling out, use a mouse when you're using this, not the trackpad on your laptop. And I'm saying sketch. And this time I wanna sketch on that bottom surface. I wanna click on that, look at that. Now I'm drawing on that bottom surface. And let's just put a circle there. Circle's gonna be nice. Nice little base, you know, something like that. And, but I also want the hole to be in the base there. So I need that rectangle to get the exact same rectangle that we have coming out the base of my tree. We're going to come over to this one called use, which is going to steal stuff from this other drawing I have. So if I go over here and click that, it kind of highlights it. Now I have stolen that uh, surface from the base of the tree there. And if I hide this, you can kind of see, oh, yeah, there it is, right? It's looking pretty good. So with your tree, we are now going to say we're done with that. The base is good. But now I want to extrude that again just for fun. So I'm going to say extrude. And I'm going to click on that surface I want. Oh, it's going the wrong way. If I click this, it's going to flip-flop that. But now I want to make that, again, just the thickness that is what we're working with there. All right, looking good. And ooh, right now it's going to join these two things. It's going to add them together. I want to make sure it's a new part, right? Make sure that's new. Very, very important there. And we'll push OK again. All right, there's our tree. Looking pretty good, right? Now to export this, the cool thing is when you hover over it and it highlights it, you just right click, oops, right click. We say export as DXF. All right. And then we'll say tree and do that again for the base there, making sure you're highlighting the right stuff there. Export as DXF. And we will say base. Now you have those two files. These are DXF files, which means.